The Wall Street Journal reports that Fox News is preparing to cut ties with its star host, Bill O'Reilly. Fox News and The Wall Street Journal are both controlled by the Murdoch family. The report comes amid growing sexual harassment allegations against Bill O'Reilly. An attorney for him claims that he, quote, has been subjected to a brutal campaign of character assassination. Anna Warner is outside Fox News headquarters here in New York. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bill O'Reilly last appeared on air on April 11th when he announced he was taking a pre-planned vacation. The question now is whether that vacation could become permanent. Caution. You are about to enter the no-spin zone. The but perhaps for not much longer, as Bill O'Reilly's future at Fox News appeared to grow increasingly uncertain on Tuesday. The O'Reilly Factor's on. Tonight. New York Magazine reports the Murdoch family, which controls Fox News' parent company, 21st Century Fox, is split on what to do about O'Reilly. James and Lachlan Murdoch are in favor of dismissing him, but their father, Rupert, has resisted because, as the magazine put it, it would make him appear he was forced into a decision by the New York Times. This is a real test of whether or not Rupert Murdoch is really going to let them run the company. The success of Fox News was in large part built on the shoulders of Bill O'Reilly. Would be a difficult situation for any family when you add billions of dollars at stake and influence and power. On April 1st, the New York Times revealed that O'Reilly and Fox paid up to $13 million to settle accusations of sexual harassment or other inappropriate behavior by O'Reilly against five women. Since then, more than 50 major advertisers have pulled commercials from O'Reilly's top-rated program. Hey, hey. And protesters have gathered outside Fox News headquarters calling for the host's firing. The pressure ramped up on Tuesday when another woman, who has remained anonymous, reported new harassment allegations against O'Reilly to 21st Century Fox, She's according to her attorney, very, very well. Lisa Bloom. But Bill O'Reilly worked near her. He would come by her desk when there was no one around and make sexually inappropriate comments to her. An attorney for O'Reilly calls the claim outrageous and says his firm has uncovered evidence that the smear campaign is being orchestrated by far-left organizations bent on destroying O'Reilly for political and financial reasons. He really has a big voice in the culture and certainly on that network, and it's not going to be easy for them to fill those shoes. 21st Century Fox has declined to comment on all of this. Following the resignation of former Fox News chairman Roger Ailes last year amid similar allegations, Fox promised a zero tolerance policy on sexual harassment. Nora? All right, Anna, thank you. I wonder we'll get a development on this, I think, in the next several days. I do, too. I don't think it's... We're going to know one way or the other very, very soon. Very soon.